Hello, this is Thomas with Geotechnologies. Today I have kind of a strange extra project, in case you're curious. One of the things that I noticed is that the new IDE, and actually since about 1.10, I started coming with a front-end interfaces wizard that allows you to build a front-end interfaces device, but generally speaking it's meant for uh, front-end tuners. So one of the curiosities I had was when going through the wizard, it offers you the ability to also have a GPS interface. And of course, including the two together does make sense in a way because you may want to actually correlate your location information with what you're actually receiving. So it makes sense from that perspective why the wizard would have this, but in situations like we've had on a couple of projects, we just really want a GPS information simply for being able to put it onto a UI like an Angular Red Hawk. So what I said to do was figure out if there's a way to use this wizard to generate just a GPS receiver device. And there is. It's a kind of a workaround. So if you open up your IDE and then right click in the project pane to create a new project, you're going to use the FEI device wizard. In here I'm picking the C++ language. You can do this with Python or Java as well. You're also going to run into issues later which I'll describe if you pick Python. On the next screen, choose ingest GPS data. This will give us the GPS provides port, which if you remember with IDLs you need to think of it kind of backwards. We're going to be providing the GPS interface which is going to make the port an input. Eventually, through the next several screens, you'll hit finish and create the project file. Change the device kind's value to front end colon colon GPS. You might also want to change the device name's value to whatever it is that you are actually going to be interfacing with. Over on the properties panel, clear out all of the properties other than device kind and device model. On the ports pane, delete all of the ports except for the GPS in port. Now, whenever you generate all implementations, be careful. If you're doing a C++ implementation, uncheck the one for template underscore impl.cpp. The file is really only necessary if you're making a front-end tuner device, and since we're not, we don't need that file. If you create that file, it will prevent you from compiling, and you'll have to delete it anyway. So just skip it. Now, after a short time, you'll see that it does actually finish compiling, and all the namespaces and everything line up just fine. Down at the bottom, you'll see the four interface methods. Two of them are for get, and two of them are for set. Naturally, for GPS position, set kind of doesn't make sense, unless you're doing a, a dummy GPS device like we've released onto our GitHub repository. So just go ahead and backfill how to access the information for the get methods. And now anything else that attaches to this GPS info port will be able to get your position, time data, information, altitude, all the other different aspects that are built into your GPS infrastructure. If you're in a Python implementation, up towards the top of your file, which you'll have noticed, is that there's a white spacing issue right after your constructor method. And all you have to do is tab back so that it will line back up with the rest of the file. And that's basically it. That's how you create a pure GPS device in Red Hawk. As always, I'm Thomas with Geon Technologies. Thanks for watching.